Hello, Taurus singles. I am Phoenix Rising. <clears throat> if you are hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. If you're watching for the first time, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. Um, and if you're new to my channel, oh, I just said if you're new to my channel, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. If you're already a subscriber, this love read I'll be doing is for um, single Tauruses. Um, if it does not resonate, you know, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Let me turn my meditation music down. If it doesn't apply, you're going to let it fly. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. All right, I'm walking back to you. Okay, so, yeah, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Um, <clears throat> Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get uh, notifications when I do readings. Because sometimes, you know, it doesn't go off if you don't have the notification bell. Don't mind me. I'm just chilling today with my little lounge dress on. And, yeah. So, anyway, Tauruses, what's been up? I hope all is well. Um... If it doesn't resonate, you know, throw it away, shit. Whatever you need to do with it, just do what you need to do. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to get started. Single Tauruses. Let me put these up. For, this is for couples. I'll do couples after this, too. Some people watch both. So that's the only reason why I'm letting you guys know. Okay, guys. Oh, and I'm, I'll be doing a question. Um, for anyone that has a question, I'll do 888 because that's my life number. So when you see this video, if you want to ask a question um, to get a reading for just one question, it's 888. Um, and as far as um, getting a reading, in the description box, you'll see my email if you'd like to get a reading. And what else I was going to say about the readings? Oh, and for donations, um, you can cash at me. My cash app information is at the bottom of the screen in the description box. And, okay, I didn't talk y'all ear off. <laughs> Taurus single, Taurus single. 222 is just on the screen. Spirit guides, Mike Archangel, higher power source. Give me clear messages for Taurus single. What do you want them to know? Spirit, ancestors, Mike Archangel, higher power source. Ooh, cards flying everywhere for y'all. Hold on. What do you want Taurus single to know? Spirit. Taurus single. Taurus single. Taurus single. I like to give a good shuffle, y'all. I'm just a good. I like to make sure the cards is all mixed up good. Real good for y'all. One more time. All right. There we go. Okay, Taurus singles. Let's get this party started. The Ace of Swords at the opening of your read. This is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. An ace is always about a new beginning, a new start. This is original idea and authentic. Um, this is more like triumph, winner, through determination. So there's something that you have won or you're winning or you have a winning attitude right now about a situation you'll even cut people out your life if necessary that's why you have the ace with the knife but this is just the winner um through determination not like not not through no faulty shit they like winning determination and new beginnings you got the seven of sword i mean seven of wands upright this is leo Aries, Sagittarius energy. Seven is always about reflection and assessment. So, with the seven of um, wands, I would say, I would say, let me get a feel. Someone could be kind of defensive right now. Yeah, like against um, an opponent. Maybe someone's coming off real defensive. Maybe you coming off real defensive. Maybe somebody's guarded and they feel like they have to guard themselves or defend themselves. Especially with this Ace of Swords. Because sometimes this Ace of Swords can have a, a slick tongue. This person. 
They can say things and not think before they talk, and it can make you feel some type of way. Some of you dealing with air sign, some of you dealing with a fire sign. But the seven is definitely somebody got their defenses up about a situation. You got the three of wands. This is still fire sign energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This is um, about making a decision. This can also be about a third party. Um, one situation is very stable. Maybe the other two isn't. Maybe there is a, you know, a, a third party situation here. Maybe that's why somebody's coming off defensive. Um, threes are about creating and connecting. So this is definitely about connecting. And I would also say this is looking out and trying to realize what you really want. What's your hope? What's, what's the realization of your hopes, your dreams, your realities of what you want from this person or this situation or even from dating this person? It's like you coming up with looking out. It could be you or a, a person you're dating. Looking out and just trying to figure out what they want. What's their hopes? What's, what's, the, what's the realization of it all? But definitely um, some for some of you third party energy. Because I feel like with the Four of Cups, you got uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy in reverse. If you turn it upright, you see someone away thinking by themselves. This is um, someone offering their cup of love or offering some type of love token. And somebody don't want it. Like, I don't want that. So it could be you that offer something to someone and they rejected it or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. <clears throat> but the four of cups in reverse is um, new ambition, but don't strain. So it's still about dissatisfaction and rejection too, to me. But this person might want to go and just think, think by themselves, be by themselves. Yep. Because someone needs balance. It could be you. The temptress is upright. This is Sagittarius energy. The temptress is always about balancing out things, figuring out things. And this is also about sharing thoughts and ideas. Someone want to talk and somebody don't. So someone want to share how they feel. And with the four of cups in reverse, somebody don't want to talk. Somebody defensive. Defensive. <laughs> um, what else I was going to say? With this temptress, I was going to say, um, yeah, this is just about sharing your thoughts, negotiating, compromising. Compromising with a partner, like, yep. And it's telling you to have strength. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. Um, it could be somebody trying to, like, act like they're real strong and not contact you. Or you, you kind of act trying to remain strong, but it's hard. Um, cause like I said, it's in reverse, but this is like, uh, if someone feeling like they lost the opportunity, like I said, offering up that cup of love, feeling like they lost the opportunity to receive it for some of you. So that makes them feel some type of way. And this is just lack of courage, but wanting to reach somebody is definitely reaching out and someone isn't is what I'm feeling for some of you. Taurus single. I'm doing eight cards right here. I said eight. You got the five of cups. Look, you got the four and the five of cups. Somebody is in deep reflection of emotion. Deep thoughts about emotion. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, five is always about conflict and terror. This is about chaos, crisis, competition, instability. Um, and I got third party again with the three cups falling down the back. And two cups standing up. These three cups could be um, three strikes you out. Third party energy with the three of wands as well. Um, you feeling like you may be the third party or it is a third party. Even though you feel like you're dating someone. They could be dating multiple people. Maybe they lying about it. But the five of cups is... Um, what I was going to say? In reverse is a, a return of an old friend or a lover too. Love and hope. And this is about meeting new people. But somebody could be returning from the past for you to Taurus. Could be a water sign. Think of how it resonates. For some of you, this is a celebration card, but this is definitely third party energy. You're getting a lot of threes. Um, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But when this person comes back, for some of you, you might want to celebrate. Let me turn this camera down. When this person comes back, you might want to celebrate with this three of cups. 
um, energy. This is good fortune, solving a problem and healing. But for some of you, that could be a third party. How many cards have I pulled for y'all? I'm just pulling. Two, three. Okay, I do one more. Let's get it. Spirit said do one more. Yep. You got the lovers in reverse. I got you your bonus card. The lovers in reverse. This is separation. And this is infidelity for some. This is also for some of you. You feel like you plan, you're paying for a foolish mistake. Maybe you feel like you made the wrong mistake. You thought this was going to be a good start. But now you feel like you have to defend yourself. You're on the defense. Because maybe things did start off pretty good. I'm pulling for, from two more decks too. I'm doing this deck and my rebel deck. But um, Taurus, um, single yeah, you you um, you thought you guys were off to a great start, and then you had to get defensive, and someone started looking at other options, and then they isolated themselves. You're searching for balance. Oh my goodness, my car is just. And trying not to be um, weak. You're trying to remain strong. But someone is like going out their way not to contact you for some of you. And it just got your emotions in uproar. Someone's from the past is returning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taurus. Singles. Taurus singles. What do you want Taurus singles? Taurus singles. Taurus singles. Taurus singles. Okay, let's see what we got. Heart to heart conversation. Honest, honesty, <clears throat> honestly discuss your feelings with each other. There needs to be a talk. Oh, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. At your current moment, there's someone needs to be released. For things to move forward. And there's someone else you're supposed to be getting to know. So there's two people for some of you. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. But you got to release this ex. And you got to have this heart to heart conversation. Whether it's with both of them or one of them. Taurus, singles. You need to have this conversation. Rebel deck. I'm going to give you six cards. Taurus. Yeah, you gotta um maybe you defensive too about the whole situation. About both. Maybe you on guard. I don't know, Taurus. Maybe you on guard. I don't I can't even knock you though. Sometimes you gotta be like that, right? But there's a, a, a major decision and a, a lost opportunity for somebody. A major decision and someone feeling like they lost out on an opportunity. I feel like mm, with the strength card next to this um, person coming back, this person feel like they lost out on an opportunity with you. So they coming back. Now, rather they are good, the lovers is in reverse. So someone's not talking. Maybe you talking to one and not talking to the other. Ooh. You do you. I like this card. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. You do you. That shit don't never work. Drop the fucking ego. One of them got an ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Someone has a very large ego. Could get in the way of a connection. Fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. Someone owes you an apology or you owe someone an apology. Whoever's rejecting this cup of, this cup of love. Get yourself. Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Help people. Give back to you. Good, give back, do good thing, good, do good shit for humanity. Fumbling over my words. <laughs> Rebel, Taurus single, because fuck it, be a rebel. The lightning bulb card says, figure your own shit out. 
Yep. Okay, Tauruses, this has been your love read. Ooh, I want to call it major decisions to make. Yep, you got some major decisions to make in love, beautiful people. Um, but yeah, major decisions, Tauruses. I am Phoenix Rising, single Taurus. This has been your love read. Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me. I hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, I'm sending you guys love and light. And I'm out. Bye, guys.